America continues to make steady progress in our war against the virus. As of today, we've tested 4.18 million Americans. That's a record anywhere in the world. The United States has now conducted more total tests than all of the following nations combined. France, the United Kingdom, South Korea, Japan, Singapore, India, Austria, Australia, Sweden, and Canada. And our testing is expanding very rapidly by millions and millions of people. So we've, uh, we've done more testing than all of these countries combined. France, United Kingdom, South Korea, Japan, Singapore, India, Austria, and Australia, Sweden, and Canada. That's something, right? We're doing a great job. We're — we are — this team is an incredible team. And that includes Army Corps of Engineers, a lot of our military people, our admirals, our generals. Kind of one of our great admirals here has done an incredible job. You haven't slept too much in the last two months, either. Look at him. <laughs> but uh, somebody said to me, President, you look tired. I said, I should be tired. We should all be tired, but we have to win, right? Yes, sir. Tomorrow, the President — the Vice President will lead a call with our nation's governors from FEMA headquarters, Mike, yes, sir. to review what more they can do and do together to develop locally tailored testing strategies, working very hard with governors now on testing. We want to help them out. Before the call, we'll send them a full list of all of the large laboratory machines in the States. They have a lot of machinery in the States that some aren't that aware of, but they, they're there, and they're really high-quality machines, by the way. And the potential capacity of those machines if they're fully utilized. A couple of them didn't know that they could be utilized in a different manner. They're only up to 10 percent, and they can go 90 percent more. Many governors are still relying on their state laboratories rather than the full and much larger capacity that is available to them. As an example, commercial laboratories such as Quest and LabCorp, these are massive laboratories that can handle a lot more than they're being sent. Uh, a few days ago, it was at 30 percent. They're only at 30 percent capacity now. I don't know. They're probably the same, but they have a lot of capacity. In addition, academic laboratories, big research labs, uh, there's tremendous capacity out there. And some of them want the fast, uh, you know, the instant uh, uh, Abbott machine, which just came about due, due to the research during this little short period of time, and it's very quick. But uh, these labs can do it very quickly also, and they're, they're massive. They can handle much more, much more than the machine, the small machine, can handle. We continue to procure millions of swabs, test collectors. I have something here. Just happen to have a, It's a swab. Looks innocent. Not very complicated. Anybody like to see what it looks like? Should I open it? Does open everybody? It open it up. I will. I will. This is what it's about, right? Is it uh, — does it remind you of something? It reminds you of this, right? One's a swab, one's a Q-tip. It's actually different. It's very sophisticated, actually. But it's a little bit like — so this is the swab. And uh, we've ordered a lot of them. They have a lot of them. Some of them uh, — some of the states, uh, they were shipped to states, and the states don't know where they are. And uh, — but that's — that's it. Why don't we give this to uh, Karen? Perhaps she'll take an extra test. <laughs> right? But this is a big deal. And uh, we're working on it, and we're working with the companies. And uh, I think in the end, we're going to have — we're going to have a — we're going to have a tremendous uh, — a tremendous success. No — nobody is close to us. No country is close to us. In fact — and I appreciate it very much. The Wall Street Journal wrote a fantastic piece, a highly respected gentleman, Christopher DeMuth. And uh, this piece was just in the Wall Street Journal, weekend edition. And Trump rewrites the book on emergencies. That's what's happened, too. And we uh, just read one paragraph. 
Uh, he's given pride of place to federalism and private enterprise, lauding the patriotism and proficiency of our fantastic governors and mayors, meaning I do call them fantastic when it's appropriate and our incredible business leaders and genius companies. I guess I probably use those terms, too, when they're doing a good job. When they're not doing a good job, I don't use those terms. Our heroic doctors and nurses and orderlies and our tremendous truckers, they have all done good jobs. By shouting out many of them by name and documenting their deeds on a fully daily basis, he has vivified the American way in action. Once it was reluctantly aroused. It was hard to get it aroused, and it is hard to get it aroused, but we got it aroused.